What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to talk to you about stimulus today, the stimulus update for August the 4th. Now, um, things haven't really changed too much. We're still in the same spot with a lot of areas, but I wanted to give you my perspective on how things are going with negotiations and you know we can talk about that in a little bit. Before I start, make sure you hit that like button. That helps me out so much. Also, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you're always updated when I post another video. Um, also, get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. All you have to do is deposit $100 after you sign up and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Um, make sure that you get your free stock with Robinhood as well. Um, just sign up for them, link your bank account, and you can get a free stock. Just use my code down below. But Stimulus is what we need to talk about today and pretty much every other day until we um, get to a point to where a bill is approved, right? That's what it's all about, is about getting this bill approved, passed, finalized, the money out to people, and then we can go from there. And obviously, this is not going to be enough money, whatever they do give out to people, which is going to be like probably $1,200 or so. Um, if they do give this money to people, it's not going to be enough. And as you know, Democrats and Republicans, the House and the Senate and the White House are all on different pages. It's like they're reading the a completely different book. Um, they are not on the same page. They may agree in some areas of the fact that we need something, but it's not to the point to where they agree on what the actual legislation, what the actual bill will say. Um, so Republicans and Democrats do not agree in so many areas, and I'll break that down a little bit more as we go um, through the video, but they're basically blaming the other side. They're basically saying, um, you know, you don't want to approve this bill because, you know, you want something that you're not getting, um, which makes sense. That's negotiations, right? And then they'll over here say, we don't even need a bill. Why are we even putting the bill in place? And then over here, they're saying we need more money. And over here, we're saying we need less money. And it's just, they're blaming each other for why the bill is not being passed. And that's not what I like to see um, because it's showing that we are completely separate and that there's no agreeing. And you could say that, you know, um, we had progress in different meetings, but the progress just went from, I don't know, uh, terrible to horrible. I don't know which one is better, horrible or terrible, but both of them are close to each other. One is just better than the other. And that's just how, how it went. Um, we understand what is out there and what the full list of ideas are on one side, the other side, the White House. Um, we understand where the list and where the priorities are for each side. And we don't understand exactly what will be finalized in those areas. Does that make sense? So uh, Democrats are basically not approving the extension of unemployment um, and they wanted to extend that a week and they didn't approve of that because obviously unemployment ran out the extra $600 a week. They wanted to extend that a week. Um, but their thought process is that you extend it one week, you're going to have to extend it the next week. You're going to have to extend it the next week. And you're just going to keep adding these extensions on. And it's never going to be something to where you put a final date on it. They're going to say, all right, well, one day it's just going to cut off. Well, that's not the case. That's not what you want. You want it to trickle off. You want it to be $600 and then trickle down to, let's say, 500 then 400 Then, you know, just keep going down in a slow process, not really a fast cutoff. And I understand that totally. But you're still holding money back from the American people. Who's right in this instance? I mean, the way that I look at it, I don't really know who is right because Yes, um, you want it to continue on for a long period of time, but you also don't want to take money away from the American people. So that's the way that I look at it. And um, I really don't know who is right. I just need to make sure that you get on the same page. Um, if you feel as though um, someone is right there, like if the Republican side feels like the uh, person on the Democratic side or the Democratic um, House is right here, um, then they just go with that. But it, it's really tough and it's hard to negotiate here because like I said, I don't really know who's right. The only thing I know is that American people need money. Um, so the deadline for um, this bill to be passed um, is supposed to be Friday, um, August the 7th, right? Um, well, I don't know if that's the true deadline. As I go through it, I go through the information, I don't think that's the true deadline. It might extend to mid-August, 
um, even to late August. I mean, it, it's so sad that we have to fight this much to get money in the hands of people. And this is where this is where I kind of hate this. I know I'm kind of branching off of everything there, but I kind of hate this because of the fact that we could have been through this negotiation so far in advance. We could have we could have been um, you know talking about this months ago. You know, this was on the table in May. So why were we not talking about this for a complete month? Why were we not talking about this every time they can get back into, you know, on the Senate floor? Why, why have we not spoken about this? It makes no sense. And if you knew there was going to be this much negotiation, then why wait? That's what everybody was saying throughout that whole entire time. Why wait? Now you're making the American people wait more because you can't agree on what we actually need. And yeah, I understand you wanted to see the jobs report, but the jobs report didn't tell you anything. They told you that we gained jobs back, right? But then we lost jobs the month you know, after that. And then you know what, where you get to a point to where jobs didn't even matter at that point um, because people lost income, which means they couldn't pay their bills, which means they're back on their bills, no matter if they gained a job or, or not, they're back on their bills. So that's where I kind of you know, get confused with this whole situation. But Nancy Pelosi says that um, they're going to forego recess if, if necessary um, in order to get this bill finalized, which makes sense. You want to get something finalized to get money to people, right? But who knows if the Senate is going to do that, if they're going to follow suit um, to be able to discuss this information, negotiate this situation and um, get money to people. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about was actually a, a video by Meet Kevin and just a, a little portion of it. It was like a, um, a chart that he built, um, basically like a, a web chart or, or something like that to where he had Republicans, he had Democrats and where they agree on and all that stuff. And um, it kind of caught me by surprise here because I'm looking at I'm looking at the color coding and the way that I'm taking this and, and reading it. And I haven't seen other videos that he may have used the same thing in. Um, it, it kind of shows where they agree on. Um, they understand that, you know, job loss, schools, liability, protection in some instances, stimulus checks. I understand that it shows where you could agree on, but there's not full agreement in any of these areas. You agree that the stimulus checks, you need stimulus money to people, but we don't agree on how much. We have, we agree that people need unemployment pay, but we don't agree on how much. We agree on liability protection, but we don't agree on how much. So there's so many different areas. There's a huge gray area to where we don't actually agree. You can agree that we need it, but you don't agree with the fact that how much we need. So if you're never going to agree, we need to come to some sort of, you know, middle ground and um, get something passed. So that's my update for you guys. It's just a stimulus update, a really quick one. Um, hopefully it was really quick. I don't really know how long this went, but I feel like I was talking forever, so maybe it didn't. But this is a really quick one. I just wanted to get you some information here and give you my opinion on what's actually happening. There's nothing really that's, that's truly happening, and I will give you an update if we do get any type of huge information to where something is fully agreed upon. I thought that the amount was agreed upon way back when, when they did have only two bills discussing $1,200. Now them saying that it's not enough and going back on that, saying that $1,200 is not enough that, or is too much or whatever. It, it's just a lot to deal with here. And I don't know what can be confirmed and what can't be confirmed because they're not confirming anything. Both sides can confirm $1,200, but then all of a sudden someone comes out with a thousand dollars. Now it's supposed to be less, but then also more for families. Like get your priorities straight. But anyways, um, that's my update for today. Um, make sure you hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button. Um, I do a giveaway every single week, so make sure you go over to my Instagram, follow me over there, and um, DM me, let me know that you wanna enter the giveaway and that you're subscribed to both YouTube channels. I know I haven't announced the names um, lately. I've been doing the giveaways, but I haven't been announcing the names. Um, that's just something that I need to get back to doing. I would do that on my stories, so make sure you check out my stories when I do post those. Um, also, get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. All you have to do is sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. And one stock with Robinhood. You can get a free stock with Robinhood if you sign up, link your bank account, 
and then you'll get that free stock. Make sure you use my code down below. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that we get through this whole entire thing. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure that you understand how to budget your money because it, it seems like the government's not going to give us enough. Um, but stay safe. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.